What's going on guys? Clutch here. We're looking at new mods for Farming Simulator 19 in the Mod Hub. These mods have all been released in the Mod Hub just today. We've got seven new mods, one of which is a new map, and three mods have been updated. So let's go take a look at what we got guys. Pitter patter. Clutch Simulations. All right guys, so let's start off with our new John Deere forestry equipment. So this is the second set of forestry equipment we have. We have the now the 1170 and the 1210, I believe it is. Yeah, the 1210. So standard pieces of equipment, not a lot of options on either of these. Um, the only real options you're going to have, obviously, are the chains on your wheels. That's kind of standard fair stuff for both of these. And the, uh, the 1210 also comes with a push bar in the front, so you can use that as well. Now, they both operate as you'd expect if I jump inside. Whoop. You can see both have cabs that rotate along with their devices. That looks really cool, actually, on this particular model. I do like how that one works. See our cab rotates along with us. Now, if I go over into the uh, the 1210, it has a rotating cab. So, depending. Oh, sorry, that's the forwarder. That's uh, where is it? There we go. Change driving direction. So it'll swap around and flip and look in reverse. That is kind of cool. We can flip it back. And as well, it has uh, the forwarder controls, so you can see the arms on the back here. You can lift those up as well. Those are the only real options for both of these. And of course, you do have the options to change your uh, the height of your blade up front. I'll jump on out of that. Take a quick look in the store at prices. So the 1170 starts at $372,000 base price. And of course, you can go all the way up to 380,000, 378,000, it looks like 379, depending on which chain options you go with. And the 1210 has a base price of 310,000. Uh, you can change the wheels and get that another, what is that, another 10,000 up, upwards of that word range, I would believe, 318,000. It also has the option of having the blade and the grill, that adds some extra cash, and as well has an upgraded engine. So you can get up to 325,000 for a fully upgraded 1210. So next up, we have a couple mods here, the Massey Ferguson 7700S edition, as well as the Grime GF94. Now the Grime GF94, this is a power harrower. It has a width of 3.6 meters and it sells for $15,000. There's no options available with this, but it is kind of a cool looking power harrower. Don't mind this one at all. But more importantly, let's move up in front here. The Massey Ferguson 7700S edition, guys. This is uh, an upgrade, I guess, to our base game, Massey Ferguson 7700. Some of the other options are, it has uh, some similar options, but the big thing, I guess, is the colors. This here is the metallic green, I guess. That looks fantastic. I absolutely love the color of this. It has a few other options available as well. Let's go jump into the store and take a look. So there's not a lot of things that are different with this tractor over the base edition one. Um, there are a few extra engine options, so you can see we go, we, I think there's five engines with this one. Uh, it goes all the way up to 280, but it goes in 20 horsepower increments except for the first uh, the first one. Anyways, there's not a lot of different options there. As well, wheels are kind of the standard affair. You have uh, Midas Nakian, Trelleborg, Michelin, uh, and then options to go up to wides, wheel weights, doubles, depending on which wheels have those options, of course. Uh, there the doubles are. There we go. So... That is kind of the uh, the normal affair type stuff, I guess. Now, if we go into our design options, you can see we can have an anniversary edition, which just, I think, adds a sticker. That's the only thing I've been able to notice with that. And the other one, we have a front loader option. That's all good and well and good, but the big thing with this is just some of the design colors. So if we go to our main color, um, well, we have the standard reds, but we also have the metallic red, which looks kind of good. You got your gray, a black. Here's the green we had. And <laughs> wow, that is bright. Look at that. Uh, you got the gold as well. Uh, as far as your design colors, you just have the reds and a black. So that's your grill. And your rim colors. Where is that? There we go. You have a couple different options there. It's almost the full gamut, actually, of all the base game colors. So you can kind of change that up to whatever you see fit. Wow, that is something right there. <laughs> and that is the Bassey Ferguson 7700S. Now, the last mod uh, that we have, the last application mod or the last implement mod that we have is the Lizard RS 1400. It is simply a silage spreader. 
it's a weight as well but just barely it's only 200 kilograms so it is a bit of a weight but not much i guess uh it does have a price of 1250 bucks but that is a silage spreader for your silage pits very straightforward there now all the mods we've talked about so far guys are available for all platforms xbox playstation and console or in uh pc we do have one mod that is pc only today to talk about and uh it's well it's just across the street let's uh let's go take a quick look at what we have available for this so this last mod is called the animal pen extension and this is for pc only like i said guys what it does is it adds an option to purchase water directly at your pen or milk or add water to be honest with you so this is our cattle pen right here the base game cattle pen if i walk up to the icon here and select it and now allows me to build a pipeline to, for direct filling of the uh, the trough. So installation takes 16 hours, but now it's going to build a trough right here, and it's going to fill this pen. Now this was available for PC, I believe, back in 17 as well. I remember using that on a few different maps. Um, as well, over on our chickens, chickens now come with a water area. So chickens now will have a water trough as well, which, I mean, they probably should have, right? Um, and as well, we can, of course, build a water trough for them as well, or a water fill area. And it will automatically fill that, so you don't no longer need to worry about filling it constantly. And as well, if I run over here quickly, our cattle now have a direct cell station for, for uh, milk. So if I come in here, milk sales, and I can choose to sell milk at the highest rate. Um, there must be a, there's a fee that's included with that, of course but it uh, will help alleviate maybe some of one of your tasks for your day so you don't need to go and transport your milk across the, uh, the map. You can see this works over on horses as well. You have a horse area where you can put a trough in. It works for all your animals now. That is kind of cool. So that there is it for all the new equipment mods. The updates today were Slurry Tank 8000 was updated today. The HUD Smart Shade for PC was updated as well as the Contractor Mod was updated today. So you can download all of those right now as well. The only other big mod, guys, Peterville Farm has been released. This European map has 49 fields, four farms, one yard, a BGA, a shop, and one grain cell point. It has a custom transport missions, and only other things, custom water shaders. Very cool. This is your main farmyard we're looking at right here. This is your uh, new farmer mode farmyard. Once again, it does seem that new farmer mode may be the only way to go on this map. Um, it does state that the buildings are static, so I'm not sure how that would look without uh, if you were to start with any other modes. Let's just take a quick look at the map. So you can see there, like I said, we have 49 fields that range from kind of your smaller side fields right down here on the farm uh, to these fairly large ones up on the hillside here. 44 and 45 look fairly large. You've got a bay on both sides, so we can maybe test out that water shader and see how it looks. Uh, inside our main farm, you can see we have a chicken coop as well as it cows. I believe it's cattle in the main area. Uh, it looks like pigs are over on the far west end. And I don't know exactly where the pigs are. Is there a pig area on this map? There might not be. So that might be something. Oh, there it is. Pigs are right in the back. That's right. They're on your own main farm. So if we take a quick look here, uh, once again, if we kind of zoom around, let's just go from one of the uh, water areas, one of the bays to the other. So this here is the northern bay, I guess. You got a couple of the fields here. That looks really nice. The water does look a little bit different than uh, some of the other maps. And look at the reflection. That looks great. All right. So that's one of the sides, one side of the map. If we scooch on over here, I believe there's our lumber area. Our, yep. Perfect. And scrolling all the way back, our BGA is on our right hand side. And you can see we're back to the other bay on the far southern side small little town and then the larger fields that we talked about are kind of up on this far hillside over here i'll see if i can zoom up a little bit give you an idea there we go so they're not massive but they're a good size for certain look at that actually this this would be a pretty good challenge to climb uh there's some definitely some incline on this field awesome well that's a brief overview right there of peterville farm guys like i said this map was released today for all platforms as well most of them as we spoke about are available for all platforms as well so that is going to do it for your mod hub update for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to be kept up to date with all the goings on in Farming Simulator 19. 
and we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.